Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Fabrizio Romano says everything is confirmed for Ratcliffe takeover at Man United. Manchester United are on the verge of entering a new era with Sir Jim Ratcliffe joining the board, and transfer expert Fabrizio Romano has exclusively told Gimsport when a formal announcement is expected to be made at Old Trafford. Despite initially agreeing a £1.3 billion deal to acquire a quarter of the Red Devil shares last month, having failed with several previous offers, the INEO's chief executive is still waiting patiently before being given the go-ahead to make his mark. But, having gone into the week off the back of Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United recording their sixth Premier League win in eight fixtures thanks to overcoming Everton on Sunday, there is hope that doubts over the future running of the club will be rectified in the coming days. Ratcliffe edges towards announcement, Ratcliffe is in line to officially acquire a 25% stake in Manchester United thanks to an announcement. Potentially coming this week, according to The Telegraph, although the deal will still be rubber stamped later than he was initially hoping. The report suggests the 71-year-old had originally set his sights on securing minority ownership before the United States celebrated Thanksgiving on November 23, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and football director John Murto is expecting to play a role in the transition despite there being uncertainty over his future after Richard Arnold decided to step down from his chief executive role. Even though Manchester United were unable to meet the deadline set by Ratcliffe, respected reporter Ben Jacobs recently told Gimsport there is no doubt that he will be heading to Old Trafford and the delay is normal when negotiating fresh investments, while the Red Devils being on the New York Stock Exchange has resulted in an announcement not being possible until all negotiations have fully concluded. It has been a lengthy process since the Glazers put the club on the market 12 months ago, when it emerged that they were commencing a process to explore strategic alternatives, and further delays have led to fears over how Ten Hag will be able to strengthen his squad at the turn of the year. It is understood that there are growing concerns that Ratcliffe being forced to remain patient will lead to the Dutch tactician's plans for the January transfer window being ruined, with there being a lack of time to put funds in place. Fabrizio Romano update, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, Romano is confident that Ratcliffe will be officially unveiled as a minority shareholder at Manchester United by the end of the week as the formalities of the deal have already been rubber-stamped ahead of the eagerly anticipated announcement. The Italian journalist understands that the billionaire has reached the final stages of discussions with the Glazer family and, as a result, Red Devil supporters have no reason to be fearful over whether the agreement could fall through. Speaking exclusively to Gimsport on Monday afternoon, Romano said, I think it could be this week. It is not guaranteed yet, just because of the formal steps of this story, but sources insist on it just being a matter of when and not a matter of if. It's just about taking some time and then everything will be completed. Sir Jim Ratcliffe will be the owner of a 25% minority stake in Manchester United, and he will have sporting control. Everything is confirmed. It's just about completing some formal steps before making the official announcement. I think it won't be today, but it will be in the next days. Everything is on the right track so, from what I'm hearing, there is nothing to worry about for Manchester United fans. How Andre Onana returned to his best after early Man Ut struggles, Andre Onana has been much maligned since he swapped Inter Milan for Manchester United this summer, with Red Devils fans regularly calling for David De Gea to return. The Cameroon International endured a tricky opening few weeks at Old Trafford after several error-ridden performances that created headlines for all the wrong reasons. He let a soft Leroy Sane shot slip under his grasp against Bayern Munich in the Champions League, while his European form continued to disappoint after he was at fault for Casemiro's red card versus Galatasaray. Onana rectified things with a last-minute penalty save against Copenhagen, which preserved three precious points in Eric Ten Hag's bid to guide Man Ut to the Champions League last 16, and his reputation is on its way to being repaired. He has been notably better in recent weeks, with his confidence improving vastly since that penalty stop. Onana has been criticized so much that he is now firmly in the underrated category, and Man Ut have their keeper to at least partially thank for their form in recent weeks. They have won five of their last six Premier League matches. 
the defeat coming against Manchester City. And currently sits sixth in the table, six points off top, despite the crisis talks that have populated the online space. Onana is now underrated. Onana's stats make for pretty reading in the Premier League, despite the barrage of criticism that he has received since he moved to England during the summer transfer window. The man Oot Shotstopper is currently joint second in the Premier League for post-shot expected goals, along with Liverpool's Allison with plus 3.4. Essentially, he should have conceded 3.4 more goals than he has, based on the quality of XG his opponents have created. This is partly down to poor finishing and good fortune, but Onana is also to thank too. Furthermore, he is also second in the Premier League for saves made, 51, joint first for save percentage, 78.8%, and joint first for clean sheets, 5. Onana's passing was billed as his great strength, and it still needs improvement in English football. But his shot-stopping, especially in recent weeks, has been an underrated facet of his game and is a key reason why Man Ut's supposed crisis sees them just four points off the top four. Greenwood wonder goal watched by Premier League scouts as Man Ut expectation revealed, Mason Greenwood's wonder goal in Getafe's 2-1 win over Almeria on Saturday was reportedly watched by a number of Premier League scouts as a report has revealed the expectation over his future at Manchester United. Greenwood's sublime strike from outside the box, described in the Spanish media as a potential goal of the season contender, was his fourth goal of the season while the United Academy graduate has also contributed three assists. He joined the La Liga side on loan from United in August, following an internal club investigation into his conduct. It came after charges of attempted rape, assault and coercive control against the striker were dropped in February following his arrest the previous year. A report from The Athletic has revealed the state of play at United, where the imminent arrival of Sir Jim Ratcliffe to control all football operations isn't expected to change the club's view on the 22-year-old. The options boil down to selling Greenwood or reintegrating him into the first-team squad. Greenwood's contract runs up to 2025 with an option to extend for a year. United could extend it to either protect or enhance his value, but even that would likely draw unwanted questions. The intent and expectation at United is that he completes his rehabilitation on loan to Getafe before sealing a permanent move away from the club. Getafe are highly unlikely to be able to afford whatever price tag United slap on Greenwood, and AS claim a number of Premier League scouts were in attendance to watch the forward score his goal on Saturday. His manager Jose Bordalas said after the game, We have been working with Mason.